The International Trade Center, in partnership with the Afrim Sim Bank, has launched the How to Export program. The program was developed with the aim to teach current and prospective African exporters the fundamentals of intra-Africa trade. It also equips small businesses with the skills to seize the export opportunities presented by the new trading environment. Newsroom Africa's Ayanda Nyati brought us that conversation. So the Intra-African Trade Fair, of course, has multiple objectives. One of them is to try and ensure that there is the kind of help that would be appreciated by SMMEs, young people, several other trade partners as well. And to give you a sense of one of the ways through which this can happen, let's bring in our guest. Uh, Pamela uh, Coke hamilton is the Executive Director of the International Trade Center. She joins us now on Newsroom Africa. And Pamela, it's great to chat to you. Thank you so much for making time to speak to us. Thank you so much for having me. I really appreciate it. What I really have come, or what I've become interested in really, is the kind of focus that you would have specifically on young people and women whilst we're here. There's a program to that end. Tell us a bit about it and how you're hoping it will help with the kind of objectives that we're seeing at this fair. Well, thanks so much for having me. And I'm really excited to be at this Intra-African Trade Fair. Um, I was listening to one of the presidents who indicated that this really wasn't the first time. They tried it in the 1970s, but now they've revived it, and I think it's an incredible opportunity to build towards the AFCFTA. So two things. We have She Trades for Women, and we have Yalda that we work with. That's the Youth Alliance for Leadership Development um, in Africa. What we have done is we have created a program which we launched yesterday called How to Trade under the AFCFTA. And it's critical, why? Because one, it enables people to understand what are the mechanisms through which they can access the AFCFTA. We've seen many agreements formed and designed and passed, but then they don't go anywhere. We don't utilize them, similar to AGOA and others. We've not utilized the, the agreements to their potential. Training under this will include issues like export readiness, market awareness, market development, market research, finance, which is critical, and also logistics. So this is how we've done it, and we've developed case studies. So we use a case study approach that shows specific problems that people face, small SMEs, and then we allow them to work it through so that they can see how to utilize the agreement. It's absolutely crucial, the work you do. Are you able to tell us a bit more about the nature of the problems that you find people are facing on the ground, so to speak? Because I've certainly also got in the sense that there's a lot of macro talk, and it's difficult to try to pinpoint how this translates on the grassroots levels, to use the cliche. Yes. Well, what we do as international trade centers, we do what I call the drill down, <laughs> right? The macro is great. It's all the vision thing, as, as George Bush would say, is, is great. But at the end of the day, if it doesn't drill down to the private sector, to the SMEs, to the people who utilize it, then it's a problem. So we do the drill down. Essentially, some of the main problems have to do with trade facilitation, the border access issues, you know, simple things like crossing the border. What are the kinds of paperwork needed? What are the barriers to trade in terms of standards and phytosanitary measures? We've seen, you know, if you don't have the right labeling, the right packaging, these are the kinds of, it seems small, but these are barriers that actually keep SMEs out of the marketplace. The issue of logistics, you know, the issue of meeting certain benchmarks in terms of trading. These are the kinds of problems that we see. Finance, access to finance is a huge issue. Um, and so that's why we've actually partnered with Afrex in Bank to launch this, this, um, this course. And it's now going to be available to all Africa, all 55 countries in phase two. Uh, just uh, earlier we did with um, Nigeria, Cote d'Ivoire, and Rwanda. But now we're going to expand it and we're going to also translate it from English, French, Spanish to also Portuguese and Arabic. Pamela Coke Hamilton, a sobering take on where we are, hopefully the kind of take that will induce the optimism, optimism, I beg your pardon, that we need to see through this entire fair. For Newsroom Africa on Channel 405, I'm Ayanda Nyati at the Intra-African Trade Fair in KZN.